today is going to be now this is not a what a thousand hours of maverick looks like this not what this is not a pro guide this is not a how to maverick this is just some small tips some attachment recommendations and really that's about it just attachment recommendations that's a pretty simple one um, a bit of a few small tips on when and how to use this gadget and sort of like a little bit of what to watch out for and some weapon um, some potential weapon pref preference now first of all for attachments I would recommend using um, I recommend using an ACOG which I am um, and that probably sounds very hypocritical of me if you ever heard my videos me I always say do not use an ACOG on anything besides two characters and it's Maverick and Blackbeard now, I might do I wouldn't do be able to do as much of a tips and tricks video as I could with Maverick because I can do a small few bit of tips put a vertical grip on there and put a suppressor on there now as I've usually said there's only few instances where a suppressor is needed with Maverick it's almost essential so putting one on your pistol and your ARs is probably your best bet now I don't recommend using the M4 because of how much recoil it has. Its recoil pattern is near unbearable for the small areas you're trying to hit through. Now time to get on with the part that you really are going to love. Oh yeah. Also I recommend running stun nades because that can make it a lot easier for you to distract them because if you throw it into a bear through a broken barricade they won't know it was Maverick that threw it they could just think it's anyone and then you can start to um, use your breaching torch on a um, reinforced wall now this is just going to now right here I'm going to tell you just a small bit um, on what that breaching torch entails now although it says it's a breaching torch do not use this to actually enter the room um, not only because I waste the gadgets um, uh, fuel it also is just a stupid idea because of how long it would actually take you to make a hole big enough for you to even prone crawl through let alone actually be useful and kind of not get killed while trying to make it Another thing is, the reason this character is so useful, I say, when um, hot breaching reinforced walls, not only how subtle he is, but the fact that, um, I don't know, I'll have to get into it like a little bit more in the um, custom match, I'll show some of examples. But this is, do not take this into account, this is like small, just little, little subtle tips for someone that might be trying to pick up Maverick newly I'm not the pro Maverick player but I do know just a small bit on what you could do with them and how to be a little bit better as them and I want to share that so here we go alright so to start off this little um, tip guide now what we're going to pretend is that this is the objective room although it's actually down there er, but anyway here we go now this is going to be a sort of mistakes you could make with the breaching torch now as I've said before Trying to make like a viable hole to go through. That's what you shouldn't do. Or doing a straight line across for your sight lines. Because not only does that make it more obvious, but they can shoot at you a little bit better. And also, now I can't show this like properly. Don't put it on drywall because drywall they can if you're like you know hard scoping them through it well they don't even need to like shoot at that tiny hole that the thing makes from one they can just shoot all down there and then you're dead so what I am going to show you it's kind of like as we're acting as if it is reinforced say now here's what you want to do is you want to spread out small individual holes just enough for you to look through but none that would actually be that easy, easy to notice and what you'd want to do first now lucky this guy's a three speed operator you'd want to kind of peek in and another good idea which I didn't do right is try to do it at crouching level so like like right here because then it's gonna be a little bit harder to see but then you'd kinda of look in and if you see anyone either try to get that nice headshot but they're moving 
just kind of unload a couple of bullets into them. Now, don't stay at one wall. I'll, or at least try your best to watch for roamers, because they're going to try to flank you. And then, what you want to do is, anywhere there's a reinforced wall, you pretty much want to make a maverick hole. Your little peeping tom holes, that's what you want to do. Now, you're probably wondering, well, you have flashbangs. Things, what do you want to do with that? Well, you could either just throw them into the room, or, well, I'll show you upcoming. Okay, so, say, again, we're saying this is the room. Now, if this is blocked off, you don't want to alert your presence. So, and probably if you are going to do this on this wall, here's what you'd want to do for the flashbang hole. As I have said before, and I'll probably don't make it that big, because I doubt you'll need it to be that need it to be that big. I'm gonna try to give a better example over here. Try maybe okay, that was a okay, maybe like Probably something like that if you are going to make a flashbang hole. Because as you can see, don't went straight into the room. Then, just light it up on people that's inside. Secure the container. See, securing the container. Now, with, now, with Maverick, I can't exactly say anything that is too... That isn't, like, already known a lot about him, but there's one thing I'll say. Don't waste your breach torches on these things because now I can just basically just do this. Hey, hello outside world. But also, they expect you to come from here. Oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this earlier or not, but okay, so as I've said, we're pretending these walls are reinforced just because that's the best place to use your breaching torch. But, alright, if it is reinforced, alright, if all this stuff is reinforced and all that, Damn, why can't she lean otherwise? Well, now saying this is all reinforced and all that. Now, the reason Maverick is so good at subtlety, that all this is reinforced and there's no destruction, no, no Maverick peeping Tom Hole. You're going to be looking down mostly at the vulnerable spots. You're breaking your breakable barriers, your drywall. You're gonna be staring that stuff down. You're gonna be staring a hole into it. So, like, say it was here, you'd be staring all at this while your drywall is actually like reinforced and all that stuff. You're gonna be staring everything else down. So, Maverick being silent, it's basically a win-win. Especially, and you're probably wondering why I said to make them like singular holes that you're actually shooting through is because then it's going to be harder to return fire because not too many, I don't think any, no, I'm pretty sure not a single defender has a DMR. So they can't just like, I don't know, no scope you pull some like MLG pro level stuff because they, you know, and that's kind of why I say use the semi-auto, because you could either just pelt someone with a few bullets and down them pretty quickly, or you can use it as sort of a sniper and get, like, some clean headshots off. And, uh, again, like, the assault rifle has a lot of recoil, so it's not exactly that helpful. Now, just a quick summary of what I said to do is... I recommend running the ACOG, something I usually don't recommend, but I do recommend running an ACOG on his guns, unless it's the assault rifle, because I don't really think an, a an ACOG will help you. Um, put a suppressor, because then it's harder for them to hear you. And do not use it on drywall, because... Now, I actually recently figured that one out because, you know, they can shoot at you still. Like, they can still shoot you through it, obviously. Um, don't use it on barricades, unless it's castle barricade, because, you know, that actually makes, like, logical sense. Secure the biohazard container. 
And, um... Hmm. What else? Oh, yeah. Gotta make these crouch level. Do singular holes like this. This. And, yeah. Pretty much that's it. And also, a, here, I'm gonna go over in a bit better detail why I say you do singular holes. Because being this close to the hole... Here, let's see. Like, that whole range there. Like... Like, you see, like, the range I actually have from this small hole. You know? Oh, wait. Let me see if I can make it, like, any smaller. No, that's, like, that's, like, about as small as you can really make it. But you see, you've got a good range there. Now you could lean a little bit more, and then you can get, like, some good range out of that. Yeah, say the defenders are in here. Well, obviously, if they saw it from there, they're going to see it, but they, like, the defenders are out, like, well, I can't actually give an example here. Here's a better example. Well, no, because that's going to be, like, right in the line of sight. I'm trying to give good examples, I'm sorry. So, it was, like, something right there. Not only do you have, like, a good sort of look into the room, now... Actually, what I should have done is make it eye level for, like, crouching. Then you can actually see in that better. But you see, I have, like, a good range from that one hole. And I, as I have said, use multiple from just that. And that's the reinforced wall. So they can't just go, oh, look, Maverick holes. And just basically, like, no, just take out... Of course, I don't have an automatic with me, so I can't exactly show you how much spray and prey that would happen, but you'd probably just get headshot through some drywall because they saw your hole. But if it was reinforced, they'd have to wait for you to come back, and if you're making multiple of these things, so say, you know, you're, you're doing this all over the place, you know, plenty of holes, you know, putting, putting them everywhere, it's going to be harder to determine exactly where you're going to peek from next, and then you can just get nice headshots. You know? Oh, that's why it's the safest option. And because of their automatic weapons, it's going to be harder for them to actually shoot through it unless it is drywall. Like I have said before, you don't want to use it on drywall. Oh. So. As your answers. On my advice to playing Ma Maverick. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you might have picked up something. You probably could find a more pro-level pro league sort of guide somewhere else else but i just want to give a few small tips small advice on maverick on what to and what not to do that i've seen and sort of learned so see ya